don't know the first thing about design as Rachel can attest to. Yes. Which is why I got married, so I don't even have to think about that. But somebody who does know about design is Holly Mathis. You know, Holly didn't start off as an interior designer. No? No. It actually started off with an interior design blog, which she began after her first son was born, and it gave her an opportunity to put together these beautiful designs and stay at home. But then her website got so popular that her readers actually turned into her clients and it became a successful business. This is why I'm so excited to spend time with her. She has a signature look. It draws from her southern roots and she loves to upcycle vintage pieces that add a unique touch to your home. So hang on to your hat because you never know what you're going to find down the road. Round Top, Texas, home to one of the nation's most famous antique festivals. Today, we're meeting with Holly Mathis to find out where and how she gets her inspiration. So when you come to Round Top, it's such a huge show, it can be overwhelming. How do you approach it? You know, there's different ways to approach uh, Round Top Marburger. Um, sort of the walk in the park approach is to come and just bring a friend or your mom or your child and just enjoy the beauty and hang out, eat a barbecue sandwich, see things. The other approach is to come with a list and be very intentional and you're, you're focused on what you're looking for and you can be much more productive that way. The key is to just not feel overwhelmed um, or get too bogged down, but just to enjoy yourself because it's, it's just beauty everywhere. So here's my big question. Is it okay to haggle? Yes, absolutely. Um, the thing is to be respectful and not insult the dealer. Uh, a really great way is just to say, hey, is this your best price? Sometimes they'll say yes. Uh, sometimes they'll ask you, which is the worst case scenario, they'll ask you just to, to quote a price. And of course you don't want to highball or lowball it, you don't want to insult them, uh, but you also want to get the best price. So it's great if you can get them to tell you their best price and then you can make a little offer maybe. Uh, but don't try not to offend them because these are their prized uh, wares that they've brought to share with us. Uh, but yes, it's definitely okay to ask a dealer for their best price. I'm sure a lot of your inspiration comes from just being in this gorgeous area. It's a beautiful area of Texas, but also you have a background in, in Southern history. So how does that play into your shopping as you're looking for things for clients? Well, I think as a historian uh, and someone who's loved social history and, and just the history of people and things, material culture, it's just uh, always wonderful to see something repurposed, upcycled, um, or, or you know something old that maybe came. Some people would consider trash that a young couple wants to take home and hang over their sofa. This is like going to a mall. No, are you okay, honey? This is better than a mall. Yeah, <laughs> but the only thing that I don't like about this is there's no benches. I usually find a bench oh. to sit and, and rest. There's no time to sit. Like there's it. stuff to be seen. Baby, we got we got places to go, things to do. All right. Holly, I We're want ready. you to take us to your favorite spot. Let's go. This way. All right. And so I headed out with two women on a shopping trip. So what are you looking for in Place like this. I'm just looking for it. I don't know that thing that says "Put me over your sofa," or you know, I have a list too. She's got a notebook. But uh, right now, I'm just kind of taking it all in and getting the lay of the land. And I mean, like this, a bath to the turtles. And this is traditional willow bend? It's, yes, traditional willow we've been uh, building for 30 years. We raised our three children on it. When the kids were growing up, they could spot willow patches. Uh -huh. And then as they got to be teenagers, when they were traveling with us, they could spot willow patches. And then as they drove, they would say, hey, Papa, we saw a willow patch at Route such and such. 
But when they were, I was just telling someone yesterday, it was funny because um, he used to say to them, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. And they'd say, yes, it does, Papa. I love these shoe forms. Now what would you do with shoe forms? You know, I um, these are actually shoe makers use these to build the shoes around. Uh -huh. And I have a client in Houston that we use these on their wall. Uh, we, we hung them on the wall and uh, they're just very graphic and add some, some charm and the wood tone uh, to a new home. So you can hang these on the wall. You can put an empty frame around them. And so instant art. Look at this, here we have a uh where we put our money in a streetcar. Oh, you see? A parking meter, no? no. And you see, they put the money here, and uh -huh. then the, the, the driver pulls this thing down, put the money in there, the money was going there, he counted the money, and then he let him go. He, just, he has some wonderful pieces. He's used corbels, architectural pieces, instruments, industrial things, material culture items, uh, Anything, anything with uh, with the personality, anything yeah. that means something to a lot of people. Yes, well, the, the candy was there, the, the, the hub cup was there, and one day I just kicked the hub cup out of my way and it went and sat right next to it, and then I knew what to do. <laughs> if you've seen the movie Back to the Future, this is a flux capacitor. <laughs> This mixed with 1.1 gigawatts of electricity will give you the power necessary to travel in time. You can see that there's a sign of a struggle. Underneath his fingernail is a hair fiber. We're gonna send this off to the lab, find out what happened to this guy. If I'm going to uh, haggle with some of these people, or barter, as it were, I'm gonna pull out my phone and find out what the real price is online. It's around $500. Is that your best price? <laughs> I noticed it 70. says 75 is I would do 50 Is that your best price? Yes. So I notice on your horn She's that it nice. says 57 yeah. Is that your best price? <laughs> and I'd uh, let that go for uh, 375 Is that your best price? That will be the best price. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, Holly. What is shabby chic? Oh, shabby chic. What is shabby chic? Everyone's looking. Yeah. You know, Rachel Ashwell um, made shabby chic famous. But our grandmothers here in Texas, they did shabby chic long before, too. And so, <laughs> us Texas girls know that. And uh, shabby chic abounds, whether it's the official uh, Rachel Ashwell version, uh, which is wonderful, or if it's the homegrown shabby chic that you can find all over Marburger and Grand Talk. I see some right here. This is a beautiful display. When you talk about Marburger and inspiration, this is kind of what I think of. I mean, Rachel, you might not want to put this on your table, dining table at home, because a little clover might get into it. But just the use of the antlers and the, the nature, the nest, and, and the music sheets, it's just wonderful. Whether you're looking for something to hang over the couch or tortoise shells, you're probably going to find it in Round Top, Texas. And if you're looking for Texas design ideas, then Holly Mathis is your answer. You can find out more about Holly on her website. I have to say, today has been very enlightening. I never knew turtles could be so popular. It's tortoise shells. Right. So hang on to your hat. You never know what you're going to find down the road might be turtles. Tortoise shells. Right. <laughs>